Every hometown has an interesting history. Welcome to the story of our hometown, Zephyr, Texas. According to historical accounts, Zephyr received its name from a winter storm experienced by two surveyors who commented that the winds were anything but Zephyrs. We are Zephyr! Zephyr originated about a mile from where it's situated now, and down on Blanket Creek in the area that's y'all know as the Iron Bridge. Uh, the community spread from there up to approximately where the cemetery is now. And when the railroad came through in the 1880s, well, it bypassed where the community was, so the community moved up to the present location to be next to the railroad. Zephyr prospered and grew, moving a mile from its original location closer to the Santa Fe Railway until May 30th of 1909. In an ironic twist of fate, the town facetiously named after a gentle breeze was devastated by an F4 tornado, leaving 34 dead and over 70 injured. Uh, in regard to the cyclone, in May of uh, uh, 1909, that uh, storm is the one that came through uh, and, and blew away a lot of Zephyr, but uh, my grandfather said that uh, I uh, realized it was a, a terrible situation because it sounded like what he called a double header freight train. Uh, did not know that there was uh, such widespread damage uh, in regard to the cyclone and the deaths and the countless number of wounded until they heard voices out in front of our, our home place up there and heard cattle, horses and so forth uh, up and down the road there and knew that something was not right. Some of the people walking down here said there had been a terrible storm in Zephyr, so those that were able to, to do it went uh, down here and started helping to clean and care for the wounded and move the dead and uh, put out the fires and, and then try to send, uh, get somebody on the road to go to Brownwood to the medical uh, people and get some help down here. After the tornado in 1909, rebuilding began. Zephyr had a peak population in 1947 of 750. Currently, the population of Zephyr is 350 and is a blend of its proud history and today's world. As a part of its noble heritage, today the Zephyr Cemetery is the final resting place for veterans of seven wars. From Captain John Dameron, who fought in the Mexican-American War, to John Henry Bilberry, who fought in the Vietnam War. We are Zephyr! My role in the community is really just to help out whoever needs help. That's, that's the approach we've taken for the last seven years. If the school needs something, we try to get it for them. If there's a family in need, we try to help out. You know, my, my goal is to bring as much money from outside of the area into the store so that I can use that money to benefit local business, local organizations. And, and I'm very proud of, of what y'all are accomplishing today, and, and, and I feel excited and happy that I, I was able to have a little small part in where you're at today. I, I appreciate that opportunity. I appreciate the community supporting us during those fast growth uh, years, and uh, we made a lot of changes, and, and the community got on board and got behind it, and I, it's evident today that they still are. We've, we've, he passed the bond. We built some really nice facilities, the gym, the computer labs, the two classrooms, the football field, and uh, it's my goal to keep all that stuff top notch. So now we've got a school that's got uh, old facilities that have been remodeled, uh, dressing rooms on the old gym, an elementary building. Uh, administration building, offices, uh, homemaking, special ed, science lab. And our success rate is very high, but that's because of our work ethic. <laughs> our enrollment's grown some. We've, we've varied from about 190 to 220. We're very fortunate to be a small school. It's only 1A, but we're 10 miles away from a town that is, has two school districts in it that are 3A, 4A. And we're so close, a 10 mile commute is not a big deal, so you have people that really don't mind sending the kids out here. So what lies ahead for this resilient town with an ironic name? We sponsored the restoration of the community center. We just received a grant that uh, we are aiming to do the repair work. Though there are differing views about the future growth of Zephyr, one thing remains certain. 
this rural town in central Texas will have a continuing legacy because of the pride and the heart of its people. As is evidenced by the new buyers of the acreages and uh, whatever becomes available, there's a lot of people moving back to the, to the rural roots. I really hope Zephyr doesn't grow into a bigger than a six-man school. It's one of the main reasons why me and my family moved here was to experience a small town atmosphere, know everybody within the community. So I hope it really does stay this size. How will future generations continue the legacy which has made Zephyr a close-knit, family-oriented, generous community? You can do anything if you set your mind to it. It's persistence that pays off every time. Just keep at it.